reckless redemption. Richard sadly took over the maintenance trains. He couldn't explain what had happened with the express coaches, but he felt he'd let the fat controller down. As he sat in the sidings, waiting for his trucks to be loaded, he'd see James pull in the express. He was too ashamed to say hello, and just looked down at his buffers. Little did he know, James was racked with guilt. It's preposterous, fumed Gordon. He'd just returned from the works and heard what happened. How could the fat controller ever think a clumsy engine like him could take the express? It wasn't Richard's fault, Gordon, Henry replied calmly. Bah! Gordon sniffed. He doesn't even know how it happened. My brand new express coaches too. Nothing but carelessness, if you ask me. James didn't say a word. You're being awfully quiet, Henry observed. Well, that's because I don't have anything else to add, huffed James. He shut his eyes and went to sleep, leaving Henry rather perplexed. The next day, Gordon took his first express run since being mended. He felt better than ever and was enjoying his journey when he saw Richard in the distance. Richard could see him too. Oh dear, he thought nervously. It's Gordon. What will he say? What will he say? Richard was so busy worrying, he bumped into a flatbed and the old steel girders spilled onto the ground below as Gordon sped past. Definitely clumsy, Gordon grunted. He disappeared, leaving a disappointed Richard behind. Now, the steel trucks aren't usually troublesome, but they were agitated. Hauling rusted metal, sitting around in the baking sun, and being bumped by Richard were grating on them. Soon, they began teasing him. Defensive positions, boys, called one truck. Here comes reckless Richard. I'm not reckless, Richard pouted. I'm oof. Richard was so distracted by the taunts that he bumped into the trucks too hard. Rough, finished a truck, and the others giggled. Richard sighed. He felt like a really inadequate engine. Early the next morning, Richard was preparing to take a fresh load of scrap metal down the main line. The trucks, annoyed with being woken up, started plotting their mischief. Richard moseyed along with his heavy load. What a bore, whispered the truck. We'll rust before we get there. So, said another one, let's help him along. They tittered quietly, but Richard didn't notice. He was too focused on being careful. Soon, he approached the slope of Gordon's Hill. Now! yelled the trucks. They charged into Richard, sending the train careening down the hill. Ooh! cried Richard as the trucks chuckled in delight. They reached the bottom of the hill and rocketed for Edward Station. What fun! giggled the truck. All right, reckless Richard, you can slow us down now. I can't, Richard called over his screeching brakes. You're too heavy. The trucks then realised the perilous situation they'd got themselves into. Hold me back, hold me back, barked Richard. The trucks did so, and they began slowing down, but not as fast as Richard wanted. He heard a familiar whistle in the distance. It's Gordon, he cried. Oh, no, the express. Suddenly, Richard noticed a siding with old vans. That looks like Henry's fish train, he thought. Richard made a decision. Whistling frantically, he got the signalman's attention and was diverted into the siding. With a splintering crash, Richard ploughed through the vans before coming off the rails. His own trucks toppled over, the steel clanging loudly. They'd been just in time. Gordon thundered by aghast at what he saw. 
Richard lay near the siding, feeling sore and sad. Oh dear, he sighed. I've done it now. I really am reckless, Richard. Just then, Henry arrived. Richard, he cried, what happened? Richard was most surprised. Henry? But I thought I crashed into you. Evidently not, replied Henry, confused. This is the uh, flipper, isn't it? Kipper, Henry corrected. And it was at one point. These vans are too old for mainline work now. We just needed them to get them out of the way. He paused. You weren't trying to crash into the kipper, were you, Richard? Yes, said Richard. Well, no, I mean, I figured out you'd forgive me for crashing into you sooner than Gordon would. <laughs> Henry laughed, and Richard followed suit. Soon, James arrived with the breakdown gang, and the fat controller. Dear me, Richard, he sighed. I don't know what to say. It seems to be one mess after another with you. I'm sorry, sir, he sighed. Uh, I'd help clear up my mess if I could, sir, but um, I'm off the rails right now, sir. Richard was only trying to prevent a worse accident, sir, Henry interjected. I'm not sure about that, Henry, the fat controller replied sternly, given his track record. Actually, sir, it's um, my track record. Everyone stopped and looked at James. He explained about the cranes, the express coaches, and his trick. Richard's been splendid with the express, sir, sighed James. I don't deserve it. You certainly don't, replied the fat controller. I'd have thought you'd known better than to pull stunts like this, James. <sighs> Clearly, a lesson still needs to be learned. You will stay on the maintenance trains until you can be trusted. James gulped as he hauled away the broken trucks. And as for you, Richard, Richard gulped and prepared for the worst. And it's off to the works with you. We can't have our newest express engine out of commission so soon. Richard beamed, and Henry whistled with delight. It had been some time since Richard had gone to be repaired. The other engines were beginning to worry. Even Gordon though he didn't want to admit it. But one night, as the engines were settling into their shed, a triumphant whistle sounded out. Here he comes, cried Henry. The others whistled in delight as Richard came back into the sheds. Welcome home, smiled Henry. We're certainly glad to see you. Indeed we are, beamed Gordon. Although... We hope you actually want to stay here with us, James sighed. After all, the way we treated you was... Oh, disgraceful, from Gordon. Disgusting, agreed James. Despicable, added Henry, glaring at the others. Disagreeable, exclaimed Richard. The three big engines gasped. Oh, said Richard, plainly. So I'm not supposed to do that. The engines laughed and whistled again in delight. Richard is thrilled to call the island of Sodor home. He is still a bit clumsy, but always does his best to help the railway run smoothly. Gordon doesn't mind sharing express juices with Richard, and even James has taken a shine to him. Henry is most proud of him, and Richard is honoured to call the big green engine his best friend. <laughs>